Okay, peeps, here we go. It's gonna be the running of the chickens. We'll let the chickens out. The guineas, the guineas just run free. I don't ever really put them up. If you've ever tried to catch a guinea, you might understand. They don't, they don't, they want to go back up, but they don't go up. All right. Everybody out, all the big lavenders. There's, oh, hey, be nice. What's this? Hey, 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 that's enough. That went on long enough. All right, everybody's not happy. Hey, Crunchy Parrot. Crunchy Parrot, what's up, buddy? Crunchy Parrot, he's a character with that afro of his, or hers. All right. Top Coop. It's the Black Stars. And a Bantam Rooster. And then the poor rooster got a bad leg. His name's Nomi. All right. Move these things out the way here. Unlatch. All right. And now the row hose. And the Polish. And then the big mixed breed rooster. And that's everybody out. And this lavender and this guinea are not having a good time together. I'm going to have to go do something here. Hey, you two. Hey, hey. Come here. Look at this mean guy. You're getting in a fight. Don't be fighting. Hmm? I gotta let out this solo little guy here. And put this big chicken down. I think. Yep. Alright, here we go, guys. Get this cage opened up and its many facets. These two are still going at it. Holy guacamole. I'm gonna, I don't even know what to do with that. But they need to figure it out. I know that much. Then we got these guys come in scavengers. Get my handy dandy. Egg collector, reach in here and here. Let me see. Can you see that there? Sorry, I was focusing on what I was doing and not focusing on what I was filming. All right, there we go. Handy dandy egg collector. Except for I need, <laughs> I need my camera hand to get get the egg off. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, it cracked it. Oh well. Just a bit. Guess the doggy can have that for breakfast. Let's see here. A little more delicate operation. There we go. That's how it's done. And these ones up here, I can just reach in and get at this sunset. 
That's sunset. We'll get out of my way. We got three up here. Oh, that's a warm one. Oh, his name's Phantom, Phantom, Phantom. Woo! And he takes off like the Dickens. Okay. I don't know, bad. What's that? Six eggs. And apparently, that lavender has grown into a rooster. Because there seems to be a dispute on the playground. But Booster's the boss, so. Just have to let it let it be. It is what it is. There is plenty of room out here for everybody. So they just have to figure out where they need to be. Woo! And here comes sunset. Chased by Booster. Good looking for that piggyback ride. And see, now the guineas and the lavender have calmed down. Everybody's out. Everybody's doing their thing. Oh, I hear a calling from the tiny house. He didn't want to get up when I got up. I told him to get up. It's a beautiful day. Come on, son. He said, no, he went to sleep. There's Lingua. She protected us the other night. Some kind of tuffle happened outside the door. By the time I got out, opened the door, I just seen some yellow or yellow dog or coyote running off. One-handed, oh we can do it. Come on. No, this side, this side, the other side, right there. Yeah, into your armpit. Come on, scoot over a little. All right, come on. No, yeah. <laughs> Just jump to me. Come on. You got to look right here like this. Can you just set your phone down? I'm, I'm making video. Tell everybody good morning. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. All right, here. Let's see if I can set it up over here. All right. Not sure how this is gonna look. How oh, it's gonna look like my hand. Okay, well, he's obviously going to take care of business, so we won't follow him around. Doggy! Oh, mommy. Good girl. Yeah. What they call that odds and ends with they in the UK the bip, bips and bips and bobs bibs and bobs. And I've recently came across me a couple more of these 
some drums. So I've got another, I think, three of them. So one's uh, 110 and then uh, 55 on top of that. So 165, 165 gallons extra storage. Once I get the range, because right now, yeah, they're just 55 gallon drum. 55 gallon drum. Maybe, maybe we can deepen that sound of the drum soon. And the noisy guineas. And the milk jugs that got blowed out in the storm. I had them all gathered up. You count all those as water storage. There's quite a bit there, but that's... Uh, minuscule tedious task of filling up those jugs i want i want the big bulk i'm gonna get these blue barrels filled up ideally my ibc totes filled up and then the runoff from the ibc totes into the jugs but we're catching what we can catch i got another show you this little water catchment system over here Me and the homie set this up the other day. So catching water into all these jugs here. Lots of acorns. Lots of acorns. Yes, sir. The black jack is dropping them. Oh, hey, you know what? You haven't seen. After the frost, we had one little pumpkin still left. Doo -doo -doo. Ah. <laughs> Until next Halloween. Yeah, I don't think it'll make it till then. We can maybe uh, paint it and let it dry, and then it'll be in a Christmas way. Like or Thanksgiving. Like, I meant. Oh yeah, we can paint it like Thanksgiving. Way. Yeah, like a turkey. Yeah. Some kind of turkey or a happy Thanksgiving. It can still be table like decorations. A but it'll dry out. Remember the the thing that you crushed on the table? It was it's called a gourd. This is also a gourd. Pumpkins and gourds, they're all in the same same plant family. But the thing that you smashed and all that had the seeds in it. Remember? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But we can dry that out how those gourds were dried out. Possibly. If we paint it. We can do an experiment and see what happens. Do you want this? No, you can set it up somewhere. Oh yeah, put it in your kangaroo pouch. That's perfect. And bring it home. Yep. And I, or we could also draw a football on this. A football? Yeah. For Thanksgiving? Oh yeah, Thanksgiving, that's right. That's right. Thanksgiving is turkey and football. Smart boy. And pumpkin. And pumpkin. We can draw a pumpkin on the pumpkin. <laughs> Be a pumpkin decorated pumpkin. Alright, well. Been hanging out for about 13 minutes now. You want to call it or you want to walk up into the woods a little bit? You want to make this like a 20 minute video? Go for another like 8 minute walk up into the woods? Alright, let's do it. Mm, I love you. I love you too. Oh, thanks, buddy. Hey, hey, you too! Oh, and there's my lines for the garden since I got the camera angle on it. And set a set a drip line once I get the right water storage. For the garden. And then I'll get it get it set up to catch the rainwater and then whenever the rainwater hits the jug, then it'll just drip and equally distribute out more water than what it's just catching from the rain falling itself, obviously. So I get all these Tank sorted out. Got 
plenty of tanks you guys have seen before. And if you're new to this channel or watching my video or whatnot, you know how it goes. So, here's these blue barrels. Here's this water catchment. Water runs into this filter, then runs out this hose. And normally I have this hose into one of these drums and catches and fills with uh, clean water. And actually I did pretty good on the last rain. This is cool. This is also a rainwater, soft water catchment thing. It's not uh, rigged up how it's supposed to be, but... And then there's a sink. Like a sink in the woods would be. But it hasn't been used in a little bit. Full of leaves. Oh, look at that guinea fly. Wow, you seen that? Yeah. He took off. Look. Wow. Oh, and he landed right on the tree. Boy, they're noisy. Yeah, them guineas can fly. Oh, while we're at it, too. Look at my poor dried up pond. I just need to clear and dig the gully, and hopefully, it'll refill and we get a nice big torrential rainstorm. Oh, you got a stick? You got a goat head? Oh, yeah. Go down there so it'll grow vine and we can swim in it. A solid plan. Look, the sun feels good warming on my back. Hey, ugly chicken. He's not so ugly anymore. Come here, buddy. Come here. He was ugly at our house. Yeah. He got beat up. But now all his feathers grew back in. He's a beautiful chicken. Buff. Buff, Buff Orpington. No, that's a weird chicken egg. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go walk up into the woods. Oh, I stuck Mom, you want to take a walk in the woods with us? All right. There's one of the stationary hammocks. I think Briar is over. I know. You got to watch out for the Briar. All the leaves might have fallen, but the briar still stayed. Watch out for that hole there. Can't see it in the camera, but I can see it in real time. Step in it. Yep, see that? Ah. Oh. I'm waiting for you. I'm not going that fast, bud. Oh, sorry. I keep moving my hands back and forth on the microphone. I'm probably making that weird scratchy sound. There's a heat snake. Yeah, there could be, but it's been pretty cold. I think uh, snake season is over, thank God. Snake but, but, you always have to be aware. As soon as you stop paying attention, that's when you get bit. We don't want to get bit, do we? Let's see, where is that? There is a, here it is. I think this is it. Because it's half dead. No, a, a branch fell off of it. A big limb of it, and its limb is down. It's a mulberry tree, guys, what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Just to get to the moral of the story. But there's a, a mulberry tree that's sick towards the top, but I want to cut it. And you cut it down short. And it'll, uh, it'll, it'll grow, grow branches again and fruit again, but they'll be low and shallow. Well, I say shallow, but you mean low and <laughs> close, close to the ground and easy to be harvested. <laughs> yeah. All right, fine. 
Romy to homie. It's right. Huh. Over here. No, it's close. Closer than what I remember. But not too close. That's why I always have a hard time finding it because I'm like, oh wait, it was further out. I was like, oh wait, no, it's close. And then I'm like all searching around in the middle and then I find it, I'm like, oh, here it is. Hmm. I remember the top of it was broke off as a branch laying down on the ground. Oh well. If we stumble upon it, we stumble upon it. See what we find in the woods. What do we find in the woods? That sweet tree. Twins. Honestly, I missed the late season mushrooms. This is, uh, you can't see it. There's a mound right there. It's an old coyote den. Here, walk up on that coyote den and see if we, if we can tell the difference. I don't see no coyote. Yeah, you see that mound? Walk up on there. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of tell that there's a mound there. The leaves got everything blended. Kind of like snow blind, but we're leaf blind. It looks like I'm floating. <laughs> Woo, you're floating. I get a fly. You push it. Hey, don't do that. All right. Yeah, I heard that. Yesterday morning, brisk, cool, foggy air. Walk out, sun just starting to peak up. It's so beautiful and crisp. First day of rifle season, and I heard the crack echo through the echo through the woods. Somebody got him a deer. Hopefully, they they got him a good one and. Didn't waste a tag. But you never know. But it was just a... I don't know. To me, it was... It was... I guess it's kind of a catch-22. Depends who you are, I guess. But it was kind of a harmonious sound to me. Like, it, it, it just... It just went with the ambiance of the cool, brisk morning. And super, you know, fall and cold and like deer season and hunting and in the woods and like it just fit everything. Blaster. Oh, you got a stick blaster? Yeah. It's curved down though. Oh, you broke it. No. You're gonna shoot yourself in the foot. You'll be home before you know it. You do that. Yeah, we're gonna. What's today? What are we gonna do? No, I know it's Sunday, but for what are we going to do? Remember? What did I say we could do today? You asked me if we could do it last night, but it was dark. Yes. Gun day. Yep. We'll get out the... You're going to get hashtagged. <laughs> I'm going to get hashtagged? You mean flagged? Yeah, we, we don't like to say say it too much, but we, we are going to get out there. Well, here's here's what we call it. Pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's kind of a funny word, but it makes it through the algorithms, apparently. Or a blaster. At, 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 at the very least, you can call it a blaster. That's fine. At the very least, if I ever... End up getting monetized. I'll just flag this video and I'll just take it down, and it'll be a year or something old by the time I get monetized. I'm sure. So everybody will get to see it and enjoy it by then, and that's what it's here for. This is not a uh, race to get monetized. This is a come and hang out and 
just chill and enjoy the woods and I've said it on many of past videos and I'll say it on this one. Maybe you're stuck on the couch to some illness or injury. I know, well we're walking the line now. We're gonna walk down here and then we'll walk back down to camp. And maybe you can't get out. Maybe you just wanna come out. Maybe you wanna see the woods. Maybe you miss seeing old dead trees and all weird shaping trees and all the colors of the leaves and all the different shaped barks of the trees, different varieties of trees. Or get to observe the fact where, where a tree fell down grabbed a branch and bent it but yet that tree decided you know i'm just gonna keep on growing that wasn't enough to kill me all the way oh, a nice nice big pine tree well i say big but in perspective it's probably a small to medium size daddy you like him yeah you thought you were going to get me, son, but you didn't. Yeah, I am going to get you. So we're at 26 minutes, so if you had I am gonna get you. 26 minutes to burn, thanks for hanging out, and I hope you enjoy. Like this, look at this. Cool puffs of moss. Oh. Wait. Look. Like a snowman. Ha <laughs> ha. A pumpkin man. Look here, let's pick up your pumpkin. Wait, it's gonna be like one of the um snowmans from Minecraft. Oh, a Minecraft snowman? Yeah. Of course. I don't know what that would look like, but I'm sure you do. Yeah, it has a pumpkin head. Oh, it's a pumpkin head? Yeah. Here, let's do it. Four stacker. You got it? Easy. Balance it. Woo! <laughs> Dog, chest. Dog control. Good doggy. Lingua. Lingua. Oh. Half control. She knew I was just horsing around. She's like, you don't really want anything. Why should I come over there? Oh, here's this fresh fallen tree. I don't remember this being obstructed in the way. I mean, I say fresh fallen. Because it's freshly fallen, but it's not a fresh tree by any means. It's dead. Actually, look, we got some oh, yeah, sweet mushrooms dead. growing here. Sorry, guys, for the focusing problem. Heads. Somebody broke my uh, lens off my camera and thought it would be a good idea to pick the glass out. Who? Do you know who would have done that? <laughs> it wasn't me. Yeah, sure. I don't know about that. So, in all actuality and reality, and it's best to tell the truth, so while I got you on here, here's your chance. It was me. Okay, there you go. I did it, actually. I did, I did it, yeah. You didn't know. I, I know. Did you thought, thought it would be a good idea? Okay. I did not know my hand was broken. <laughs> I'm starting to warm up. Oh, watch out for these guys. What 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 cactus is this? What variety? Prickly pear. Prickly pear. Good job. What's the bad thing about it? The spikes. Yep. And how they're super small and they they're hard to get out. What's the good thing about it? That there's spaces where you can touch it. Nope, there's, there's another something that's even better than that. About the prickly pear. Can you remember? Can you remember? No. 
You can eat them. Oh, yeah. What parts of it can you eat? These parts. Yeah, what else can you eat of it? Not the spikes. Not the spikes, that's right. You eat the you eat the paddles. They're called Nepales. And what else can you eat of it? Uh, spikes. No? <laughs> what else? Do you remember? The, I want to break it. The purple parts, the blooms, remember? I want to break it. The big purple parts. The, can I break this? Can you listen to me? Yes. Okay. So do you remember? And they're sweet and juicy on the inside? Can I break it though? No, just leave it. We'll come and dig it up and move it to the front eventually. Oh yeah, we have a bunch of cactuses up front. Yep. What if you have more than one cactus, what do you call it? Cactuses. No, not cactuses. Remember? I can't remember anything. Oh, okay. Cacti. Like octopus, <gasps> octopi. All right. What's this? Ravine trench dug here. This is deep, deep and creepy. There's like, more you, than one school. What do you bean. think? What do you think is in here? Nothing. You think this might have been something? Look, here's where they dug the dirt out. Um, snake. No, snakes don't dig. A meerkat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have meerkats. Yep. It probably could have been a coyote digging for I, a, I was about a berry to say box coyote. turtle. Um, or it could have been... I forgot what coyotes were called. Sorry. Hogs won't dig that deep. Yeah. Armadillos won't dig that deep either. They're, they're diggers, but they won't dig that deep. So it could have been a coyote digging. Coyote. It probably... Digging for a rabbit. Look, it's Something my like ring. Hmm, pumpkin ring. Alright, well. I don't really expect anybody's going to stay on here for 32 minutes and watch this all the way through. So, we'll go ahead and end this one. Maybe I'll end this one and then start another one and just make two separate videos and then can have one that's a big long randomness and then one that's just walking in the woods. So that's what we'll do. We'll cut this one and we'll start another one. All right. Tell them deuces. Be well, y'all. Have fun yeah. and enjoy. Stop doing that with your pumpkin. That's not how we're going to end this.